द क्रिएटर ऑफ ऑल इज वन द ओनली वन ही इज रियलाइज बाय ट्रू गुरुज ग्रेस आसा थर्ड गुरु छंद कर थर्ड ओ माई इंटीमेट फ्रेंड्स डिवोट दाई सेल्फ टू द मेडिटेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड द स्पाउस एवर सर्व दाई गुरु एंड ऑफटेन वेल्थ ऑफ द नेम परफॉर्म दाउ द डिवोशन टू द लॉर्ड विच सर्विस इज प्लीजिंग टू हेम इफ दाउ do according to thy own will you shall not win lord's player this way of love and devotion is difficult somewhere one finds it through the guru nanak says he to whom lord shows mercy attaches his mind to his meditation myself practicing renunciation to whom art thou showing this renunciation they who sing god's praise are ever and ever in divine bliss detach thyself from the world and shed thy hypocrisy he the lord knows everything the one lord is pervading the ocean desert uh, earth and cosmos by the guru's word lord's will is realized those realizing the order of the god receive all the comforts nanak says thus that he is a true anchorite who day and night remains absorbed in the god's love wherever thou wanderest o my mind there the lord is with thee shed thy clevernesses o my mind and contemplate over the guru's hymns ever is he with thee even if thou meditate on god's name for a moment thus thy sins of many births shall be washed and in the end thou shall attain the supreme state thou shalt be tied up with the true lord by ever contemplating him by guidance of the guru thus says nanak that wherever thou goes o my mind thither god is ever with thee by meeting the true guru the wandering mind is restful and it has come to abide in its own home it then purchases the name utters the name and in the name it remains absorbed the wandering mind is set at the rest by meeting the true guru and it has attained the 10th door there ambrosia is man's food and there resounds the celestial strain with which music the world is sustained many musical instruments and unstruck music ever resound there and the mortal remains absorbed in the true lord thus says nanak that by meeting the true guru the wandering mind is set at rest and comes to dwell within its own home myself thou art the embodiment image of the divine light thou realize your origin o myself the reverend god is with thee by guru's teaching enjoy his love if thou realize thy origin then shalt thou know thy lord and understand the mystery of the life and death if by guru's grace thou realize the one lord then thou shalt not have the love of the another If in thy mind comes peace and gladness resounds then alone thou shalt be acceptable thus says nanak o my self thou art the image of divine light thou realize thy origin my self thou art full with pride and laden with pride thou shalt depart fascinating mammon has fascinated thee and again and again thou shalt be whirled into existence absorbed in pride thou goest O foolish man and in the end while departing thou shalt repent with the ailment of the ego and desire thou art afflicted and art vainly wasting into the life the self willed fool contemplates not on the lord and while going yonder in the next world repents thus says nanak o man thou art filled with pride and laden with the pride thou shalt depart o my mind do not take to pride if thou knowest anything then by guru's teaching be thou pious and humble within thee are ignorance and pride by the true word wash off this filth be humble before the true guru and show not thyself to be anything by its own pride the world is burning be there allow not thyself to be ruined likewise attend to thy business according to the will of the true guru and remain attached to the will of the true guru thus says nanak forsake thy self conceit and remain meek o man thus shalt thou obtain happiness blessed is the time when i met the true guru and remembered god the spouse i spontaneously got exceedingly delighted and obtained peace of mind and body i remembered god the bridegroom and shrined him within my mind and left all the evils when it pleased him virtues became manifest in me and guru himself bedecked me 
Only those persons become acceptable to the Lord who have repeatedly meditated on the name and have discarded feelings of duality. Thus says Nanak, blessed is the time when I met the true Guru and remembered that groom of mine. Some people have gone astray in doubt, but them the Lord himself has strayed. Some wander about in duality and go about their business in pride. Them the Lord has himself misled and put them on evil track. Nothing lies in their power. Thou, O Lord, knowest their ascent and descent. Thou, who has created the creation. Exceedingly strict is thine command, which some rare God ward person realizes. Thus says Nanak, what can the poor creatures do when thou misleads them into delusion? My true Lord, true is thine greatness. Thou art the transcendent Lord and infinite Master. Thy might cannot be described. True is thy grandeur, he within whose mind is enshrined thy holy might be by thee, ever sings thine praises. When the mortal becomes pleasing to thee, he chants thy glory and, O Lord, fixes his attention on thee. He, whom thou thyself unitest with thee, by Guru's guidance, remain absorbed in thee. Thus says Nanak, O my true Lord, true is thy glory. Rag, Asa, Chand, fourth Guru, Kar, first, the creator of all is one, the only one. He is realized by true Guru's grace. Life, real life, I have obtained through the love of the exalted Guru. God's name, God's name, the Guru has given me and has put it in my mind. The Lord God's name, he has placed within my mind by which all my doubts and troubles have departed. By Guru's word, I have meditated on the invisible and inapprehensible Lord and have obtained the pure supreme status. By singing the hymns of the true Guru, the musical instruments ever play and unstruck music resounds in my ear. Nanak says, the bestower Lord has given me a gift and my light has blended with his supreme light. The self will die of their perversity, declaring wealth to be their 